know what I mean? Smack in the building. We here. We in the building. You know what I'm saying? PG bloggers. What the fuck is the deal? What you think that you are real hire me for? The little shop of horror tree smack like you see me. Can I tell my story? Can I tell them why I am who I am? Huh? Show too much love for these niggas to hate me. Even printed calendars for these bitches to date me. But I keep my schedule clear like a picture in HD. Give them a full screen before I hit the escape key. Don't ask what I'm talking about keys for. Nothing to do on the computer. I was keyboard boss. What you think the URL hired me for? The little shop of horror tree and smack like he's Seymour. Nigga feed me. No, I ain't trying to be greedy. Word Stevie, no wonder no one can see me. When DMX was coming, the locusts to check TP. I was on the seventh floor letting bitches play with my PP. Not a punchline, but it's real. Probably hard for you to feel if you ain't grow up on the hill. We was catching jooks to afford our next meal. Before Jack and Jill, niggas was jacking for real. 77 Locust Hill Avenue. Block Talk Radio. I do this for my culture. What's up, y'all? Y'all just tuned in to PG Bloggers Ladies Night, host by myself, Prototype, and my girl, Mari with the flow. We have a special guest today, but before we get into that, I want my girl to speak on her behalf. Jersey, stand up. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> Yo, what's uh-huh. good? It's your girl, Mari with the flow. You already know, first lady, PG Blogger. This is I talk about rap because I know about rap. You already know. Thanks for tuning in to PG Bloggers. Oh, yes, Sunday. We all here. Yeah, all right. We have a special co-host today. Um, she's mad dope. Um, her name is Gracie Baby, as everybody would know. So, Gracie Baby, we're going to give it up for you. You talk that shit. I don't even talk shit. I just introduce myself. I'm Miss Gracie Green. What's up? <laughs> Chicago. Y'all know me. I'm just a big bitch in the culture. Just chilling. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Yo, yo, shout out to the good, you know, co-hosting this show. We're going to be talking about a lot of crazy stuff. You already know. Um, let me, let's, let's, let's talk about the blueprint first. You, you ready to talk about the blueprint? Crazy guerrilla warfare, um, that's happening. It's summer mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we look. We got, um, a lot of people, I don't think a lot of people know, but it's like, it's a two-day event. It's September 19th and 20th. Um, on the first day, we got a lot of dope. Um, we got a lot of our Chicago niggas, you know, that we trying to push and that's coming up in the battle scene and shit. Like, Sammy Wild Hunters, Gage, The Eagle, Steve Staples, and a couple more dudes. We also have um, Newborn vs. Bricks Belvy on that card, mm. as well as... Um, Lexi Baby from Milwaukee. She battling C three. Um yeah, we got a lot of dope a lot of dope battles on that um on that first day card, second day card. Yeah, I know we got A Daylight, we got Charlie Clips, Big Cannon, we got um Ted Ice, X Factor. I'm really excited about that. It's like the return of the OGs. I'm really excited for X Factor Head Ice. We also got Danny Myers and JC and Young Kevin and Cortez for that second day car going down. Yeah, this is That's fire. Shout out to you, yo. <laughs> car is crazy. That sounds like a good-ass car. A good car. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. It's, it's a few battles. I'm pretty excited. I'm excited about Newborn and Brick. Um, you know, the, both of them, is, they bar heavy battlers, so I'm, I'm anxious. And then we got that happening in a small... Me personally, to be real, like, I'm a fan of small room battles as opposed to these big stage, big room, thousand plus events. That's just me, and we got Bricks and Newborn going down the small room, so I'm really excited for that. Especially with them being both of them being like bar heavy battlers. Yeah, that sounds dope. I actually want to come. I want to go to the battle, see what I can do. Yeah, yeah, I should come. Y'all should come. The media, fuck with us. Uh huh. For real, it'd be crazy. I think I think September twentieth for second day. I think that's gonna be crazy. I think a lot of people. 
is is excited about how they fans like a, like a lot because you know they've been they've been going back and forth on Twitter talking they shit you know they they twelve G's in the in the battle shit so I think a lot of people may be excited for that battle also as well as daylight like every time I go out out here in Chicago people know about the yeah. event the first thing they ask me is man what is that nigga daylight going to come out of here and do. <laughs> so he's yeah, probably okay. he's probably the most talked about battle rapper on the card, but a lot of people talk about X Factor Head Ice as a battle as a whole. Um, on that daylight comment, like I like daylight when he not bullshitting because he's a great he 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 write great bars, but you never know with him. So I could definitely understand whoever acts that. I could definitely understand where they come from. Cause he'll have you. He'll have a wow factor every time he performs. So. Daylight is dope as hell. Like I tell people, daylight. If you, if you pay attention to daylight, daylight only does those gimmicks in certain places. Like in places, he never has done a, a gimmick on King of the Dot. If you, you know what I'm saying. If you watch it, that yeah. he he straight bars. And like I tell people, I don't think he would come to Chicago and do any gimmicks. I think he respects Verb enough not to do gimmicks because Verb is a good rapper. Like, Verb can rap. So Verb is somebody yeah. that Daylight is going to have to rap with. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. That's true. So me personally, my personal opinion, I don't think he's going to come out here and do no gimmicks. I hope not. I mean, but I, I I'm pretty sure that battle is going to be dope because they're – like you said, Verb, he he's a good ass rapper and he is. Um, they, I mean, damn, Daylight also he he's good to me too. Like I I like Daylight. <laughs> yeah, Daylight like dope. Daylight like dope. Daylight like is real dope actually. I'm a fan. I'm a fan of the gimmicks though too. Like niggas be mad. I, I be like, yo, how do y'all let him get you so mad when clearly he's trolling you? Like Daylight is yeah. the number one troll in the world. <laughs> okay, I had um daylight beating verb on my prediction. If you ain't see that, y'all gotta go check that out. Me and my boys and see Um we we had that prediction, it was dope. Um but daylight's that nigga. Quill, nigga. Quill. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny 'cause uh, we got we got this nigga sincere right here. He had a verb winning. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I, mean, I, I, think, I think it can be either way. I think I, I don't think neither one of them can go wrong with their predictions. Quill versus Sosa. Quill. Quill. Nah, I ain't going to win. <laughs> Clearly. What you got him? 2-0? I mean, 2-1? Ain't going to win 2-1. Uh, not. Isn't that going to be debatable in your opinion? Daylight not going to have Boston. Ah, uh, You are so biased. You know, listen to me, listen to me. Daylight knows what he's doing. He's very strategic. Averb comes with bars. Daylight's not going to come with bars. He's going to just outper- outperform and outshine him. He's going to figure something out. And that's it. I'm a bar heavy nigga, so I got Averb taking it to once. My bad, but shout out that to the you well, man. You good. All right, I, I respect it. Shout out to the yeah, bad homegirls. I'm trying to go out okay. there. Two is good. Okay. Some PG blogger need to go out there. We need to support each other. Y'all niggas need to come. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all all oh, y'all yeah, niggas. niggas in Africa somewhere. <laughs> Word. Word. Yeah, I got Word. 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 That shit is going to be bar heavy. I just hope they know how to rock that big stage. Like, that's probably going to be the biggest stage, I think. Is they not they not? That's the thing. They, we don't got them. We doing a small room setting with they dad, though. Oh, that's going to be even crazier. 
Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, I won a small set for their battle because both of them bar heavy battle it. Nice. Nice. Great right, to be knowing. So I see, yeah, she I see classic do. already there. Yeah, it's probably boy. classic. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if you heard. BX, yeah. All day. Y'all some But yeah, that's smart. Buys all day, you heard me? Nah, Bricks is nice too, though. That nigga no, got some skin. His pen game crazy. You know what good. happened with Bricks, though? Bricks, he dropped off the scene for a long time. So, you know, with the battle world, you know, the, the fans, is, you know, they, they with you and say, you know, they feel some type of way about you. And he dropped off the scene for so long, and it was kind of like out of sight, out of mind with Bricks. So Bricks had to, he had to build himself back to where he was at. So for a minute, Bricks was had a crazy name out here. Yeah. And I, I, I'm, I'm going to just assume, you know, he had personal issues going on, just like any regular human. But, you know, the fans don't be trying to hit that shit. But I'm going to assume he had personal issues going on, and he has to lay low for a minute. But right now, Bricks is really, um, he really building himself back up because, you know, a lot of people think he's going to lose, like, clearly. And I'm like, how? Like, Bricks can rap. Like, that boy has yeah. bars. He's not, if he lose, I don't think it would be clearly, I think it's going to be a crazy battle. Nah, I agree. Bricks' last, um, I think his last battle was uh, with Lotta Day, right? Was I'm it? Like, I'm, I think I'm going to be real, that, I'm not sure, but the last battle I watched from Brick was for him versus Ryan. Mmm, so yeah, I think that was his last battle versus my. I don't know mm-hmm. how long ago that was, but that shit was a bar for that too. That shit was crazy. Well, I agree. Yeah. Yeah, crazy. so that's how I understand how, how people count him out. Like, okay, and then this is a battle... You know, I, I incorporate the, the fans in a lot of, um, and, well, all of our events, really, right? You know, I like to take their opinions into consideration and, you know, try to do matchups that they, they genuinely want to see. And that that was one matchup that, you know, a lot of fans were really going to see. Yeah. So I'm like, fuck it. I just told no one just, just do the battle. Because, you know, it, I, I honestly, I, I set this, that battle up maybe like a year and a half ago. Like, just oh, wow. verbally talking to Bricks and Newborn type shit. Like, we was talking, and I'm like, I do this battle. So I, I really started up about a year and a half ago. But, you know, it had went through a couple other leads, other leads trying to set it up. And ultimately, it just did a full circle and came right back to me. Oh, you got wow. That's what's up. Yeah. I'm excited so, I'm, to see that. This nigga born got, is hungry because niggas ain't trying to fuck with him. I, I want to see a boy about to come crazy. Now, you like, know the thing is, you know what it is with newborn? It, he got the fans now. Like, like, because you know the fans hate a newborn. They did not fuck with newborn at all. The crazy thing is, the fans fuck with newborn now. The thing with newborn yeah. right now is, he can't get another top to the niggas to battle him that he wants. Like, newborns feel like he just keep putting in all this work, all this work, and he's not getting none of the names that he wants. You see what I'm saying? And I, I can understand what he's coming from. You know, they can get frustrated sometimes. Like, newborn has had a, a good couple past years. He has a fucked up. He has a choke. He has a stumble. He's had good performances. But he still feel like he can't get um, a well-deserved opponent that he think he, 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 he deserves. And I, I understand because... Newborn, he been around for a long time. Despite all the fuck ups he had, chokes, stumbles, whatever, he still been around for a long time, and he put in a lot of work. So I definitely understand where he be coming from when he say that. Like, I ain't, don't get me wrong, I love Newborn, Newborn, my baby. He do be whining and crying and, and doing all this <laughs> yeah. extra shit. He do do a lot of extra shit. But I understand where it's coming from. But, you know, us being wrong folks, we're going to look at him like, nigga, stop crying. But I definitely understand yeah. where it's coming from. Yeah, but he he going to get that shot one day. He has to. I, he was talking crazy, talking about retiring and shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I saw he saying that because he just feel like he going to keep doing these battles. He newborn feel like he going to keep doing these battles. Dope, he's doing dope matchups, but he just feel like 
it's going to get swept under the rug because God ain't cat. Yeah. It's been like that for a minute already, so I don't know what it is. It's either the leagues or niggas is just back at him or it's just not fucking with him. I don't know what it is. But he deserves all I, that I shit. I told Newborn, I told Newborn, because Newborn, he, that nigga used to, I've been on Newborn for maybe for about four, four years now. And I used to tell Newborn, like, boy, you can't be, he, like, he would literally curse the fans out. And I used to tell him, like, bro, you no seriously, I used to tell him, like, bro, you can't argue with these fans. You know what I'm saying? You can't curse them out, bro. Like, at the end of the day, you still a battler. You know what I'm saying? You got, you got people watching you. Like, you can't do stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you look at if you look at all the top ten niggas, if you look at top ten niggas, you don't see niggas on that arguing with fans. Like, they might talk shit to them, but they ain't cursing them out or, you know, Stuff like that. Yeah. Like, newborn used to be in full, full fat hour arguments with fans. Just over an opinion, though. <laughs> no, seriously, just that. over an opinion, though. Like, that's just how he used to be. But I understood that, too, because, you know, he took his craft serious. Like, what he did, writing, like, he took it serious. So he, he was the type of, like, when niggas would give an opinion, like, dude, you whack, or dude, you choke too much, or even though it was the truth, you know, he just ain't take it, like, uh, like another top ten nigga, or just another battle of pride with this nigga. Like he just took it more personal instead of just brushing it off. Like that nigga, he would be in, and I mean four five hour argument. And I just yeah. think him as a, as a person, like his personality, like newborn. You gotta be this type of person and some newborn personality because sometimes he will rub you the wrong way, and I think that's what he do with a lot of people. I think he, I, I, honestly, I think he just loves a lot of people the wrong way. But in real life, like, Newborn a cool-ass nigga. Like, I love Newborn. Like, he one of the coolest niggas in this rap shit, actually. But mm-hmm. I think, like, to the fans, to the public eye, he just loves a lot of people the wrong way. And it makes him not like him personally. So they don't like him as a battler either. That shit's right. Yeah. But, um, that that nigga born, yeah, like like you said, per, I know him as a, in a personal note, and that nigga cool and everything, but uh, I be telling him, stop whining, nigga. He's all <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Everybody's telling him like the same shit. <laughs> I think everybody just told him that once or twice. For real. Everybody. everybody. This is crazy. But it is what it is. I think I'm, I'm, I'm like that a little bit, but, you know, you got to learn how to take criticism, even if, you know, you don't feel a certain way. Um, but anyway, born about to kill this nigga. I don't want to hear nothing. BS, you have all day. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, I don't want to know no reason. We all here. I got support. Can nobody support him? I got to support. That blueprint shit looking crazy, though. I cannot fuck this one. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, that, 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 Danny, that Danny and JC? Oh my God. I think that I think that's a slept on battle. I think Danny and JC is a slept on battle. That's my honest opinion. I think that is a slept on battle. No, that shit is going to be crazy. Yeah. It's oh, my God. It. But y'all not, y'all not going to have the uh, McDonald's uh, microphones, eh? <laughs> nah, nah, we ain't doing that. <laughs> I mean, for the big thing, you know what I mean. No, nah, we ain't doing that. Um, that was just something that we tried out. And, yeah. You know, the audio was incredible and live. In the room, but that shit didn't look too hot on camera. But no, we not doing that. We actually have a whole camera crew that um, fills with ac- oxygen that's filming our um, September 20th event. Oh, that's dope. Uh, oh, this weekend is Big Cannon's um, birthday, right? Y'all gonna have something in the, on that I don't know what. Adrian. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> I ain't talk to him about his birthday. He ain't told me nothing because, you know, I got three birthdays. I got September 4th, his, and my other brothers on the 13th. Mm. So he ain't told me nothing about what he want to do or what he's doing. I have no idea what that nigga doing. Hello? I ain't saying happy birthday, man. <laughs> nah. Nah, no, wait. Hey, what you got, B? I'm going to say, I'm gonna say it the next day. Be like, I forgot because I'm petty. But it's like, 
Yo, he be trolling on me. I be on, I'm about to cry and shit. But I'm going to chill. I'm going to chill. I'm going to hold it down. I ain't going to be like, boy, I'm going to chill. I'm going to chill. Um, now let the nigga troll you. Troll him back. Not, I'm just trolling back. I be on, on the radio going crazy on him. He going to be trying to come <laughs> up my head. But, He's funny, though. Yeah, it is. He he just secretly in love with Marty, but I'm going to chill. You know, I ain't, I ain't be- <laughs> He he told ARP that to not let me in his event, it, you know. So it's whatever. I, I see what it is. When I meet him, I don't want to hear none of that. Probably <laughs> <I'll be> about <laughs> to show him, but I ain't saying much, you know. Charlie clips. What y'all think about that battle? What? Clips and Ken? Yeah. Come on. Come got- on. Cannon, Cannon got three old uh, clips. You, O.D. Wow. Last <laughs> <Not> thing, <laughs> like you ain't say. Yo, he lying. <laughs> nah. He's listen. super O.D. <laughs> listen, listen. I got to be in a classic. This shit going to be crazy because they rebuttal. Uh-huh. They got, like, similar <clears throat> They got similar styles and shit. So, it's going to be crazy. I just, I got clips doing more haymakers and having more punches at the end of the day. So, I got Taking that, I mean, you seen my prediction blog? You was there. <laughs> yo, I'm not even gonna front. They both sound hungry. My, they, yo. I'm not even gonna front. Dick Kennedy and Clips gonna be crazy. Do for two, two facts. They both can freeze out and they both can rebuttal. Crazy. So crazy. we really don't know what's gonna go go on with that battle. I know, know they're all going to be on point. I, I told Big Cannon to come on his A game. Charlie <laughs> said he coming on his A game. I'm, I'm excited. He's I should really make you want to go over there. Word. Ooh, it's lit. I'm like, I'm getting hype over here. But yeah, only because know. you buy it. <laughs> Three of them. <laughs> it's going to be a classic three of them. You heard? You already know. You heard it here. Nah. <laughs> Yeah, I, don't me, I don't. I, I don't. I just. I want to know y'all honest opinions about headaches and X Factor. I'm excited. I'm about a love that, a home fries. <laughs> Listen, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm. I'm more excited about that shit than all the other rest. Because first off, my man X Factor is coming back. He's been going for a minute, and I don't think he's playing no games with head ice. You feel me? So, and head ice is on fire right now. For some fucking reason, this Yo. nigga's tearing out all this nigga's heads like it's crazy. So, um, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I was at um Bowler Five when he battled Dead Man. Uh, you I that saw shit? That's he smoked Dead Man and yeah. like, It was just I'm looking like, Yo, what's wrong with Head Ice? Because you know, oh, he saw Head Ice was a battle rapper, but he just been getting crazy lately, like really crazy. Like, yeah. I thought he smoked that, man. Isn't Head Ice from New York? I'm hyped, though. Head Ice from Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's why I don't think don't uh, nothing different. <laughs> <laughs> wow. The X Factor, man. I don't know. He's going to come through with some, with some grown man bars, man. Head Ice, too. They both OG, so it's going to be crazy. I don't even want to pick, like, a fucking one. I mean, I'm, my side... I'm leaning towards X Factor a little bit because I fucked with him like Play crazy. You know what I'm saying? He just fucked up in that good battle. So, and um, I I think I, I don't know, but I got X Factor being more hungry to be honest with you. So. You know what I'm saying? X Factor. I think it was making X Factor mad is like nigga, the fans is trying to shit on him, so that's oh, making him mad. Yeah, that makes X-Factor mad. I don't know how that battle's going to... I think that battle might turn out crazy than what people think. Yep. Yep. Man. Back and forward. Had I don't play about it. Had I <laughs> Oh, she's so biased. <laughs> she's super biased. I don't know. Nah, yeah. <laughs> don't be putting that message out. Yo. <laughs> Don't tell me, oh, nah, look who we got here. This ugly ass motherfucker here. Hey, to be it? totally honest, like, this is the worst show ever. <laughs> like, <laughs> this this may be 
the worst I've ever seen a, a, a blog talk. Horrible. Since said, man, you need to do this shit by yourself, bro. Nah, <laughs> get the fuck up out of here, man. <laughs> Good, good. Is there another woman on here? Is it two women? Two women. It's three. It's three. Left. Who? Who's the three? Is Marty prototype the and the Gracie? Wait, is Marty who? Oh, the, oh, prototype. The bitch, know, the bitch know who I am. Yeah, yeah that, that's not a that's not a woman. So we, we who else? <laughs> 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 Introduce yourself. I'm prototype. Your name is what? I can't hear you. Your phone kind of real low. I said it's prototype. Okay, prototype. All right. And then the other man that's on the phone, right? (laughs) (laughs) All right. So basically, so 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 what's going on, man? I hear some bias shit happening. My Twitter going crazy. They telling me some bias shit happening on PG bloggers or some shit. What's going on? I'm gonna let the ladies speak, man. It's ladies' night, man. Okay, prototype. Bias. Okay, we. I don't want to talk to the your, name first. They say your bitch ass go get three all, bro. What you got? Bias. Bias. Now Charlie, you ain't no. You gotta stop. <laughs> Yo, y'all said about Charlie. Y'all think Charlie will three on me? He's gonna fall on you. Oh, <laughs> he already beat you right now. Just because Gracie put things in, he already beat you. All right, so. Let's see, let's see. Maybe you'll take around. Okay, 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 listen. You're talking too slow for me to understand what you're saying. So, where's Prototype? I'm right here. So, I'm is right he going to 3-0 me? I, I, I necessarily didn't say 3-0. You feel me? But I think it's going to be a, a debatable battle, if you ask me. And, and you, Edge, and Ch- Chilla Jones. I mean, Chilla, uh, I mean, uh, Cool, uh, Charlie Clip. <laughs> Are you answering Charlie? Yeah, I gave it to Charlie. Okay, all right. Now, now this is why I want to tell both of you women. See, <laughs> this is why I don't like the PG bloggers, women, <laughs> because y'all don't know what the hell y'all talking about. You got this little, you got this little thing over there talking about some damn three O, and then you got this new woman. She sounds very nice and wholesome. She sounds very nice and wholesome, but she's wrong, so she shouldn't be up here. So I'm Yo, confused. You said you're gonna lose too, so how you sound? I, I, oh damn, sis. Yo, don't throw me in here. Listen, it's ladies night. Don't throw me in here. I don't I'm got no opinions. Nothing. Don't listen. Did you? Do you oh, say you know what, man? I thought we had a friendship after lift his soul, man. We was out there kicking no, and chopping do. it up. No, listen, I don't know I, you. Nah, nah. Listen, listen. I feel us saying this shit is gonna get you. Crazy hungry, my nigga. You might black out. Who knows? So, who knows? I just, I'm not, I got, I, I got I, You know what? I'm going to tell you this. After the night, I will refuse to come back to this show until after the battle. Nah, until nah, after the battle back. happens, I won't be back on this damn show. And I know I'm one of the best shows that y'all have. So, basically, <laughs> fuck PG bloggers. And Good. So, we're going to edit that part out. Well, we got to edit that part out. Yo, Big Cannon. All I want to know is, so you met or not? <laughs> and this is Yo, why I don't like her. This is why. <laughs> I love you. I got to be in the classic, bro. I got to be in the classic. No, no, no. Okay, all jokes aside, though, um, real shit, Charlie Clips is, you know, the all-around, you know, everything when it comes to battling. So, you know, it, it, it's gonna be it's gonna be a good one, man. Because I feel like there ain't too many things that Charlie can do that I can't do. You know what yeah. I mean? So it, it's gonna be uh, an amazing battle, man. I, I anticipate a classic. And um, as long as none of the PG bloggers are there, I know I'm gonna win. Like y'all are just <laughs> bad luck to everything. You trying to head out there, man? No, you're not. What? You will get no, detained at the door. You will be detained. <laughs> You mean that's Miss Gracie's decision, man? She said it fly out. Shaking my head. <laughs> that is not Gracie's decision. I like we are fifty fifty percent owner. Shaking my head. 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 Sh
my head. I'll sneak in there. Don't worry about it, man. I, I'm supporting. Yo, Big Cannon, when, when this battle drops, we're going you, we to have you on, on the line that night. Right. Okay, night. you do that. You do that. It you don't do matter that, man. what day it is. Well, okay, okay. can I ask y'all a question? Can I ask y'all a question? Go ahead. Go ahead. Yes. Okay, I'm I'm really don't want to talk to the Marty girl. I know how she is, so I want to talk to the prototype. Yeah, please. Um, prototype, what what is it that you think gives Charlie Clips the edge in this battle? I think he's stupid. Like I'm smarter than him, man. So like, what what are you giving him the edge in? He probably come full with a big tummy, so his grandma cooking probably edge every round. You know what I'm saying? His grandmother's motherfucking cooking. <laughs> Y'all don't deserve no fucking show. Y'all don't even deserve a ladies' night at yeah. all. Hey Gracie. Hey Gracie. Wow, ho. You stupid for being on the show. You stupid. Bitch, <laughs> <laughs> so they talking about my damn. They talking about your damn brother, and you sitting you up on here, he and left. Ho. You gonna get three o ho? You heard? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid <laughs> broad. Three o. You a dumbass broad. You did. You did. Yeah, whatever, whatever. You I'm gonna sabotage ho. the whole event. You did, ho. Yeah, I will strip you naked and pour the carry blood on you. <laughs> carry blood. <laughs> the, pig, the pig blood, bitch. The pig, bitch. Hello. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo. Hey, I, I fuck with y'all, man. I'm I'm having a family out and bowling with my people. I don't want to be on here anymore. Everybody who's listening, man, the blueprint. Mar- uh, I was gonna say March 29th. The blueprint. Motherfucking September 19th and September 20th, man. It's ready to go down. Club Adriana's Big Cannon, Charlie Cliffs, man. It has potential to be the best battle of the year, man. So everybody, man, come out and support that shit, man. It's going to be crazy. Get your motherfucking tickets at the blueprint 920.offentbright.com. And we got Gracie, I'll let y'all know about the pay per view and shit. Rapgrid.com, the blueprint. And y'all just go get that shit. So I'm gone. I don't want to be involved with none of these women anymore. Stand still. We are no longer friends. We're no longer friends. Do not hit me up on Twitter. I bet not get a million. Goodbye. And I'm following fuck it. you. You you following, you following me? You say you unfollow me or following me? I'm following you. I'm about to follow you. No, you're not. Yes, I am. <laughs> You know, I, I guarantee you, though, I, I will block you as soon as it happens. Goodbye. <laughs> All right, people. Wow. Make it a classic, bro. Of course. The y'all terrible see, battle for a big cannon. Y'all see what I deal with. Y'all see what yeah, I deal with on a daily basis. <laughs> you see so funny. <laughs> nah, but shout out to Big Cannon. Mm-hmm. He's definitely the truth. He's definitely underrated. I don't know what the fuck is going on with people, but I think it's the truth. You already know. What's the next battle we're going to talk about? Don't talk about shit. Talk that shit. Um, <laughs> what about Cortez and Young Kenya? Uh-huh. Let's get it. Cortez. <laughs> Yo, where's, where's Cortez from? Uh-huh. Cortez exactly. from Brooklyn. Exactly. Uh-huh. So, uh, she's buying. Here you go. She's buying. <laughs> <laughs> he on my side, so I just know that everybody from New York is gonna win. Okay, um, I just gotta let that you know be clear. Yo, Cortez is on point, even though he lost to Forty Bars. I ain't gonna say much. Um, Young Cannon is another underrated nigga, oh. but I don't know what y'all think. I don't, this this um, battle is so crazy to me because Cannon. Like, Ken been wanting Cortez battle for a long time. Like, him and Cortez been going back and forth for a long time. When I say a long time, I mean, like, years. Like, you know, Ken and, you know, it was a point where, you know, Ken just felt like the top two dudes were scared to take him. So that's how it all started with him and Cortez. 
And I don't know. I don't know how Young Cannon is still period about Quest but he just meant Quest has been somebody on his hit list. Like I would probably say like top three hit list on his three hit list. Like he's been one he's just somebody that he's been wanting to battle for some reason. And I also just think it's funny that it's um Hispanic versus Hispanic. That's hilarious to me. <laughs> Where do they go since this I that show her on the prediction? I think I think this is gonna be fun. Hopefully, um it is a classic battle. They both gonna be on point. Um, what should they prototype? Um, <clears throat> well, I think Cortez probably come ready, prepared. You feel me? Like I don't think he's gonna pull one of those um, forty versus him. You feel me? I think he's gonna come prepared. But if the other dude been wanting him, like it's gonna be crazy. Like he's hungry for him, so he, I know his bar is gonna be on point. So I think it's just gonna be a good ass battle. I can't really call it. That's, that's true. Um, let me see what uh, the boy Menace got to say about this battle. Let me see, yo, yeah, Menace, nope. you on? Yo, yo, yeah. Family, how the PG blog is doing? Uh huh. We good. We good. You already know. Salute to everybody. Shout out to Young Y'all Ladies Night. Uh huh. <laughs> so what, what are we talking about, Young Cannon? We talking about Young Cannon versus Cortez. What you think about that battle? Alright. One thing I'm gonna say is both of them is underrated when it comes to the stage. A lot of people don't react when Cortez hits with hard bars, and a lot of people don't react to Young Cannon either. So it's gonna, it's gonna be a battle of who comes with the better performance that night on top of the bars. Mm-hmm. And and after what Cortez has been through taking those last two battles of the Rex shit and then dealing with the stuff with um forty bars, like he he needs a good win right now. But at the same time, ain't nobody sleeping on Young Cannon because Young Cannon he he always brought the bars. It's just about that performance now. Yeah. And, and you, you know, know what I think it is with Young Cannon. I'm about to be honest. You know what I think it is with Young uh-huh. Cannon. I think with Young Cannon is the same thing as he battled. Like it, mm. it, it, you can't you can't deny his bars. He definitely the boy definitely can rap. He definitely has bars. But I think the fans as a whole just feel like it's the same thing with Young Cannon as he battled, and they just feel like he needs to change something with his performance. Yeah, I just feel like they don't really give him a chance though. Like you know, it's like the same thing with newborn. It's like when people are so used to like looking at you in a certain way, they just always gonna no matter what you do, they always gonna view you that way. They just need to give these dudes a chance and just at, like take it like it's a brand new battle. Like don't don't go off for the last one. Yeah, but you know, I mean, it's true though. You only as good as your last your last, last battle. battle. That is true. Like yeah. if they only have that to go off on, that's that's all they got. But and me personally, young I think young no young be DNA. Yeah. That's why, and, and, and he always come with it because when he's at home, that Chicago stage really bring out the best in Young Cannon too. Oh man, you think so? <laughs> I I think the best times I've seen him is in his, on Chicago cards. And he and he mm-hmm. learning how to get the the fans to fuck with him a little more, but hey, he just got to keep building that up. It's like you say, people just used to Young Cannon always coming with the same thing. You always got to switch it up, especially if you're trying to stay in the game for a long time. Yeah, and then here at home, like, it's a lot of pressure on the rappers here at home. You know what I'm saying? Because they expect, Chicago expects you to kill these out of town niggas. You know what I'm saying? So that may be another reason why he go crazy here. Because Chicago expects them to kill the out of town niggas. Where? Because they were using the energy. Oh, what about him? We're talking about Young Cannon versus Cortez. Young Cannon Cortez. Man, I got. Um, young Cannon, he do his thing in Chicago. He comfortable home. So I, my prediction blog was already, you know, towards my prediction was towards Young Cannon and shit. But I don't think I don't think Cortez is gonna be sleeping on the nigga because he's been slipping lately. So I don't think you know it's gonna be a crazy battle because both of them niggas get at them from the Mexicans in every fucking battle. So it's gonna be. <laughs> I think it's gonna be a little bit of personal and all that shit. It's gonna be ball heavy, but I got I got YK taking this shit in Chicago. He comfortable. Him. Well, he did his thing versus um Chilla and shit. You know what I'm saying? Right, and um, right. 
Who Cortez battled in um um? Did he battle with Big Hannon in Chicago? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. He took that. Uh, he took that. Uh, <laughs> But I <laughs> fucked with Cole. Shout out to Cole because I fucked with his boss. But um, I got Young Cannon getting crazy. Oh, he needs man. this. He needs this. He needs this. This is the the battle of the the Spanish battle of all time. The craziest Spanish battle of all time. He man, I'm w. excited, man. Another crazy ass battle. Where shout out to you, Gracie, playing playing them some battles together. This shit is crazy. Yeah. I don't be liking people's matchups, but these matchups actually make sense. Yeah. It really uh, thank you. Uh, I'll be trying it. I'll be trying to, I, like I said, I like to incorporate the, the fans' opinions and shit and see what they want to see and try to put it together. I got a question, That's Gracie, real quick. When you set up, like, say you know how you're setting this up, this card about to go down. Do you, do you already plot on your next card? Like, y'all already got... What's crazy is, we, um... Okay, so, the crown event. We planned that crown event, like, in December of 2013. No, the end of November of 2013. When the crown, when we did the crown event, we started planning for this September event. After that event was over... So we uh, we pre plan like we pretty much already be having in our head like yeah. what we want to do or what we trying to do or you know ideas. Yeah, because it's hard now because so you we, know a lot of leagues put battles together too. So you got to be on point with that. Yeah, we pre plan like like it's already another card in my head already after this September event. <laughs> Like I, just, I don't know. Like I just be, like we. I don't know. I just be thinking like I'm always thinking the crazy matchups or just a matchup I want to see. That's the shot. Yeah, that's the shot. That's. The Wait. So. Let me see. Man, this is this is so far a good show. Your callers calling. Three four seven eight five seven two two zero eight. We are here with my my partner in crime prototype and uh-huh. my uh, special co-host Miss Gracie and the yep. lovely Mango Cynthia. You already know. Niggas <laughs> <laughs> got hype. Right. Yep. Niggas uh-huh. hype on our show. <laughs> <laughs> ladies, ladies. <laughs> ladies, man, ladies. I, I want to get a call. I fuck with y'all show. Y'all show. Y'all show is mad funny. Cause Marty's on the dirt. Uh, Child, please. <laughs> <laughs> we out here. Who's that? Oh, let me see. Eight one six eight seven eight. Yo. Hi, nigga. Stay quiet. Hi. Forget y'all, cause this is. This is Talk That Shit right. Sunday. If y'all want to talk, talk, talk that, that shit. shit Sunday, man. Talk that shit every Sunday. Niggas not trying to talk. I see y'all. All right. Um, man, I, yo, uh, what you call it? Since here. Yo. What you thought of? What's your piece on JC? JC versus... Um, the bar guy? Um, yeah, the bar guy. What I think? I think that shit going to be bar heavy. I think yeah. um I think Danny's about to show out. J C was looking crazy comfortable against Cliff in that Chicago. Um <laughs> I think he took that L versus B Magic though. But I got him not sleeping on Danny Myers. But I got Myers taking that shit like I got I got the bar. Danny Myers was incredible, man. That, that nigga was incredible. Started. I think it's the his lineup is crazy, so I know he writing. You know he don't sleep on nobody. He don't play with nobody. So I think he got JC, he got Aver, he got Cortez. He got his lineup is fucking started this year. So he definitely gonna try to put JC to sleep that night. Definitely, it's gonna be crazy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, yo what, what, what I was trying to talk, but I, I didn't even notice I had my phone muted, yo, and I was talking. You were shy. Oh. You were shy, you know, nigga. You know, He's shy. You know, grandpa, you know I'm a grandpa, so you know how it be. We get a little, <laughs> you know what I mean? 
to get a little mixed up. Dementia or something. I don't know. Introduce yourself, boy. Yeah. Yo, you already know who it is. It's that nigga Flick Talk Boss. Monster. You know what I mean? Ball Critic Show. You know how we do PG Bloggers. Family, you heard? Like, you know yeah. what I mean? But I'm just, I just want to give a salute, you know what I mean? To the prototype. My little sis, uh-huh. Marty. Miss Gracie and his uh-huh. brother. Appreciate the love, you heard? Oh, man. Uh, I want to I want to double up real quick, if y'all don't mind. I'm sorry. I just because I did have something to say about the last one. I mean, actually, I was talking about it for a second, but y'all couldn't hear me. You know what I mean? Talk that and then, shit. Uh, and then uh, I'm gonna go ahead and jump to the bar guy, as y'all call him, uh, versus uh, you know what I mean, uh, JC. But first, you know, YK versus Cortez. I'm just gonna put it like this. In my opinion, Cortez need this more than uh than YK. Like everybody's been saying, like YK's mad comfortable uh, in his in his hometown. Uh, he's definitely uh, underrated, you know what I mean? But in my opinion, he been he been killing a lot of people since he's been hitting a lot of hometown joints. Uh, he's always been killing people anyway, though. In my opinion, like I don't know what everybody else is viewing anyway, so I don't know what type of drugs he's smoking or whatever. But it is what it is. But uh, that's my dude. So I, I feel like uh. Cortez really need this uh, because of the, the amount of slip-ups and, uh, you know, it's just all the stuff that's been happening to him on stage lately. I think he need a clear one. He really need a clear one. I don't know if he's going to get it. Not You know, no shot at him or nothing. I don't know if he's going to get it against YK, though, I mean, especially at home. But he definitely need this one, in my opinion, you know what I mean, to, like, you know, put him back on the right path, you know what I mean? So I'm, I'm, I'm looking right now, 2-1 YK easily. Uh, no disrespect in that easily, but it's just that he at home. It's just that he at home, so I, I'm, I'm feeling him at home, for real. Um, but uh, you never know. It could be an upset, though, you know what I mean? Never uh, never close your eyes on okay, so, you know what I mean? Then we're going to get, uh, you know, the boy Danny versus JC. Like, oh, my God. It's like, bar- on paper, on paper, this is going to be, like, one of the craziest battles you can ever see if you just put ball for ball. You know what I mean? Damn on paper, this is gonna be one of the craziest battles you can ever see. But I think uh, I think Danny's gonna uh, outperform him because he's gonna he bring that element uh, a lot better than JC. And I mess with JC too though, but I think he uh, bring that performance uh, more than JC do. So I'm leaning towards uh, you know Danny two one. Uh, you know without a doubt with that performance factor. You know what I mean? Yeah. But these battles yeah. are gonna be all these battles got potential to be classic, like Yeah. You read classic all those shit, that's the thing read. Yeah. And what's crazy, I'm not even a YK fan and I'm leaning towards them. That's that goes that should tell Cortez something, you feel me? Like you lack of performance then niggas are gonna lean towards you know, we don't believe in you for a little bit, bro. You gotta you gotta yeah, rock it. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Hey, so. got bars, yo. He definitely got bars. Hell yeah. He definitely got bars. <laughs> Hell yeah. I'm, I'm I'm hyped. I don't know, man. I'm just <laughs> excited. I can't wait for that shit to um, pop off. They, y'all going to have pay-per-view, Ms. Grace? Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. I'm, <laughs> I'm tweaking. I'm tweaking. What you say? Y'all, y'all going to have pay-per-view for this? Yeah, on Rap Grad. Twenty dollars. Oh, it was ten dollars, um, uh, but it's twenty dollars. need that discount. <laughs> no, we have sent that out. Um, well, Rapgrid has sent out an email to everybody who purchased the crown event uh, to get that discount. So that was like, oh wow, a, yeah, to get that ten dollar discount. Um, because um, our crown pay per view was fucked up. So um, yeah. so we had to um, you know, make up for that. So that's why that's also why I paid you only twenty dollars. So, so we we had to do a lot of making up for that crown event. We, we had gonna the best be part good. on paper this year, but the execution of it was terrible. Mm. Oh man, I'm gonna see if, if I don't go to the event, I'm definitely gonna pre-order that shit, pay-per-view that shit, pre-order. That shit gonna be. <laughs> right. I want to see those battles. 